volume. When you speak about volume in terms of gases or any states of matter, we talk about space. Because it's matter and it matters, so if it matters, it should occupy space. If each one of us matter, we should be having or we should have a right to have a space. And we have volume, we have a value also. And when we say value, we can also talk about capacity. Take note, the word capacity. These are big words, volume and capacity. So if matter has volume, it has capacity. And volume is actually specified in capacity units. And what are these common capacity units? And I'm sure you're familiar with these common capacity units. We have milliliters, ml, liters, kiloliters, and megaliters, in which these capacity units can be converted to its cubic counterpart unit. Now, down here, you'll see the basic conversion factors of volume. Now, take note, one milliliter always is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. It's one is to one. Therefore, you can just have the same value, but you can change, interchange ml and cm cube. And for liter and cm cube and ml, they have the same conversion factor. Because in one liter, there are... 1,000 milliliters, therefore, one liter also has 1,000 cubic centimeter. Take note of that. These, these inversion factors in volume has been repeated, and I hope by now you can clearly, clearly remember this and retain this so that you can automatically do the conversion if there's a need to when we go to gas loss later on. And if we talk about cubic meter, one cubic meter, it's not equal to one liter, but rather one cubic meter has 1,000 liter. 1,000, take note, 1,000. One cubic meter has 1,000 liter. One megaliter has one million liter. Take note, when we talk about mega, it always means million. So one megaliter, mega, is symbolized by capital letter M. The counterpart is the milli, which is small letter M, which is small, but mega is big. That's why it's one million liter. And take note if it talks about water, just on the side, one liter of water has a mass of one kilogram. Or basically, one gram or one ml of water weighs one gram. Because the conversion of one kilogram to gram has, one kilogram has 1,000 grams. So I will leave this for now. This is, these are the units of volume that you usually will use when we go to gas loss computations later on. So watch out for the next video and do the exercises, the conversion exercises for volume when you go to your classroom. Okay, so bye for now. Thank you so much for dropping by. Never stop learning, relearning, and unlearning. God bless you.